YouTube playlists is a great way to categorize your content and also make so your viewers can binge watch your content, therefore leading you to more views. So playlists should definitely be a must have for most creators out there. So let me show you how you can manage your playlists, add them, delete them, edit them, anything you need to and know. And leave a like in free to one go. Now let's do this. Okay, so to do this, you want to go to your YouTube studio. And when you are at your YouTube studio, you've logged in on all of that. Uh, you want to press the playlist section uh, uh, up here. And when you come here, if you have playlists already, there will be a full list of all your playlists, a full overview of everything. But and you can you know, edit them from here. You can watch them from here. Like it's just a, a, little, a little hub for all your playlists. If you do not have any playlists uh, on your channel yet, you can go up here and click on the new playlist uh, and type in whatever title you want this playlist to have. So I'm going to type in uh, video just for this sake of the sake of this video, obviously. And then you can change the visibility here. So if you just want it for yourself uh, for some reason, then you can have it either private or unlisted. Unlisted means so anyone with the link for it, the playlist can watch it. But um, yeah, I'm going to have it private for this video. And then we press on create. Now this playlist should be created. And in order for you to actually edit it and add videos to it, you want to press on this little pencil um, icon. And underneath it should say edit in YouTube. Then uh, you will be taken to the like the page for your playlist. Here you can change everything about your playlist. You can change your title up here. You can change the visibility in case you want to make it public someday. And then uh, here at the three dots, you can do some uh, really nice things. Firstly, the pretty necessary one is to add videos. This is where we add videos by just pressing on the three dots here to the, to the left. And here you can either search for a specific video to add into this playlist. You can paste in a URL for a specific video or you can choose from your own videos, which is recommended because that's what will drive you yourself views. So, you know, I can choose whatever I feel like fits for this playlist. By the way, definitely every playlist should um, like follow one specific topic. Don't have different, multiple different topics in the same playlist. Make two separate ones if that's the case. So um, say I want to have like YouTube tutorials, then I have maybe these three. And then we press on add videos. It will load for a while and then refresh the page and then we have the videos that uh, I just added. Some more things you can do with these three dots down here is that you can basically let other people add videos to your playlist. Say there's maybe some family members, your friend that wants to contribute to making this playlist even better. Then you can press on collaborate and then uh, enable it. And then you will get this link, basically copy the link and share it to the person that you want to be able to add videos to this playlist. And then uh, they will be able to do so if they click on the link. But I wouldn't recommend this if you yourself want to have full control over, uh, you know, your playlist. The playlist settings over here, um, you can allow embedding, which is basically so that you can allow adding links in the description or like title that's i don't know if you want to yeah i'm gonna have it on for now you can add new videos to the top of the playlist so basically it refreshes and gets the newest freshest content up at the top of the playlist and that's up to you if you feel like that's uh, necessary for this playlist then you can have it on and something that is pretty cool is set as official series for this playlist this means so all the videos that are added to this playlist are a part of the same series and you should only um, mark this or enable it if all these videos have the exact same topic they talk about almost the same things and you think that anyone that watches any of these videos will enjoy the other videos in this playlist because what this does is so when you set all the videos uh, as an official series uh, it makes so when someone watches any of the these videos 
in the playlist, they will get the other videos that are in the playlist recommended to them through uh, the recommendations tab. And this is good because you may get some new viewers, but do be careful with what you're adding because it is easily done so that you add videos that have nothing to do with each other and then you just, you know, recommend uh, viewers videos that they don't even care about, which gives you a lower click through rate. But it can, of course, not always be in for the worse, but also for the good. So you get uh, a higher click through rate. What do I know? Another thing about the playlist series for your channel is so that you, if you add, say, these three videos that I have down here, you can't add them in another playlist. So just do uh, remember that. And the last thing you can do on this playlist is to delete the playlist. And that's not what we're here for in today's video. So let's continue the description you can type whatever you want to basically describing what this playlist is about on with up to 5000 letters so just type something that explains what this playlist is about so the viewers knows what to expect when they are clicking on this playlist. In case you don't like the order of uh, where these playlists are then you can actually just like move them around and they will be changed for everybody not just for you but this layout will be changed for anybody that goes into this playlist so if you want to have this video up here and this video up there then uh, you know that that's how it will be it's super simple just click on these two lines and drag it wherever you want to or if you want to sort by most popular newest oldest you can just click on sort and sort by whatever uh, if it suits uh, you. And then if you want a specific thumbnail for your playlist that is displayed here, by the way, and you don't know how to get it, you, you don't want the video to be up in, at the top, then what you do is uh, basically have your mouse on the video whose thumbnail you want to set as the uh, thumbnail for the playlist and click on the three dots here to the right. And this will open up this menu. Here, you can also remove your videos from the playlist or move it to the top or to the bottom. Some very simple stuff, basically, but just press on set as playlist thumbnail. And this video is now the playlist thumbnail instead of this video. And now we have our very own playlist. Now, let me show you how we can add videos to playlists that you already have created. Um, just very simply, you can either from your YouTube studio, go to your contents tab over here and then go to whatever, whatever video you want to add to a playlist. Say I want to add this video to a playlist. Then I click on details scroll down a bit and then playlists here select whatever playlist you can add it to how many playlists you want to and then click on done and if you're watching a video that you want to add to a playlist but you don't want to go through the hassle to you know opening up youtube studio and all that then you can just go to this bar, bar over here click on save and then uh, add it to whatever playlist you want to. If you want to see more tutorials like this one about content creation, be sure to subscribe with the bell notifications on and leave a like on this video. Questions? Leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, with that said, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Starks out.